Wes has seen when it just takes their success story even further. So that in that you can never you can never write off a success, a success story. Oh my goodness! So, yeah, it, you're, you're absolutely right here. We're going into this game one on Apocalypse. West taking a ton of damage off the bat, and Fiend in West on the Tori and Olden that we've been seeing so far against the Dawson and Luke from Boomy and Snowy. Really close game here, and Fiend sending Boomy off the left side of the stage. Boomy wasn't ready for the alley oop here, and Snowy continues getting those X siders. That's three in a row on Fiend as he's now being brought into deep orange. Okay, I'm a little surprised not to see a, you know a, a Petra pick here from Boomy, but. Uh, you know, I, I could be a little further behind. I know that Petra was uh, a character he used quite a bit. Oh, oh, man. First one to go down. Though. Yeah, I mean, he's been favoring the, the cross and the Luke in doubles mm -hmm. just because the insane power. They're, they have a lot of team combos yeah. that score knockouts incredibly early. Cross, one of the highest strength legends in the game, and some of his signatures hit the hardest. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, was, it was sort of a recent development in the last championship where, like, three regions actually were picking it. Like, Godly went in with the cross as well, okay. right? So it's one of those things where it's like, oh, Gauntlets and Blasters, cross a signature kit. It's feeling pretty darn good right now. And look at that getting that stock lead. I'll be Ooh, barely, no, Dominoes. Wesson Fiend technically take the lead. <gasps> That's not a technicality anymore. Oh, that is just oh, a definitive no. lead. Look at that. Boomy going far with that side to coming out from West. West just deleting stocks off of Boomy. Yeah, man. That was That's how you do it. You know, keep your team in the Did lead here. No, little team, nice break oh. up there from Boomy. I mean, he, you know, almost got caught up himself. But. And, then, and then West broke up the broke up with yep. the side sig, right? Like, yep. getting that yeah, extra bit I of damage. Just the wherewithal. Hey, you're going to bust up our team combo? Well, you're still going to pay for it. We're still coming out ahead. Oh. Okay. Snowy find his way back in, but no, they're not able to get around that new They almost had them both ready. Yeah. <laughs> that was like an awesome call that they had them in there. Like, okay, Nair, if Sword Downer came into another Lance Nair, Snowy and Boomy could be, oh, are they going to be out? Are they going to be down a game, game one, this handedly? I mean, look at this Boomy. He's, he's doing, is he uh -oh. gone? He's one Lance Sider away from just losing this stock, and Snowy has two stocks still. Yeah, I mean, it looks like this game is developing quickly, but it's really just developing quickly for Boomy specifically, because, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, we're two minutes in, and we're just over two minutes in, and he is about to be off his Ooh. last stock. He's having, he is having a rough time just oh, finding a footing. Oh, Snowy's gone. Oh, West okay. just pulls up the full charge, hoping that Boomy, I think Boomy, he was hoping that Boomy would just fast fall right after dodging yeah. that, but Boomy reacted in kind, but he goes down. It's four stocks to uh, yeah, it's four, it's stocks, four to stocks to one. And they're oh, hurting, the but it doesn't oh matter. Gosh, they are all over him. The acceleration. Midair as well. Not even having the, the, the platform to reset gravity cancel. Wait, West, the Ciders. Fiend, you're okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait whoa. a minute. Wow. Right, a little bit of friendly fire. There's an opening here. All right, we're, 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 small we're padding opening. stats. Right. We're I padding mean, stats right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a look at, I, I was really looking forward to that four stock game one, but hey, it could be a JV4. Let's find out. No, Fiend got hit. All right, it did tech over. Wow. Gave you three. Still, oh, it's still, 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 Guinness World it's Record. Still yeah. a, you know what it is? A really darn impressive win. Yeah. My goodness. Wes and Fiend just annihilated Boomy. Boomy got 252 damage off that game. Did I, did I look at that right? Did I say 88? How much damage taken was that? I thought I saw an eight. There's no way he took over 800 damage. Whatever the case was, Boomy took a lot more damage than he did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, okay, Wes man. and Fiend. Ah, uh, <laughs> Uh, can we can we run that poll again? Can it's, we, uh, yeah, we, yeah. What are the, at Darby uh, Games. Well, I mean, the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the poll definitely locked in right before the game started, oh, yeah. so they're not gonna can't change those numbers now. But I bet you the people that were betting on Wes and uh, Wes and Fiend are feeling a lot better after that. As we get a huge change of scenery here from Apocalypse to Miami Dome, not gonna be able to go onto the stage. Not sure if that really matters. But Wes and Fiend have just been annihilating these stocks. But Boomy and Snowy start off with a good start, getting Wes super damaged up. But that's how last game started, and then Wes just popped off. Yeah, man, it's. it's a hot streak definitely going on for uh, South America. Uh, South America right now, you know, they, they're been carrying all this momentum forward with every game that they've uh, played. That was a, like probably one of the strongest games oh. we've seen from them all together. That is going to be a stock off of Fiend, though, pretty early. Ooh, and oh. West could go down early here, too. Man, manages to thread the needle. Really went for that Lance ground pound on Boomy. Right. Down air went through. That side light was kind of clever, using the platform to use it, but then fall down afterwards when it missed. Snowy having some really crazy movement. Side light in air doesn't catch booming. The down air repositions, man. It's so remarkable to me how well Wes is able to like be aggressive, but also maneuver in a way that it's so hard to punish him with that weapon. But he's still still living, but they can't take a stock off the red team. Yeah, they, they are looking oh, hard. Right. He finds right. it right I there. I just had to say something. Yeah, Finally. The, might get the second one too. You know, find himself recovery somewhere. He's. Look for, got the, went for the neutral light, not going to hit, but that down light is, and oh, oh he actually gets turned around and scooped out of there. Wow, at that. It's not expecting him to go down. Snowy's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, I do also like this map pick for Snowy <gasps> and Boomy. 
Uh oh, Fiend and the stuff That's recovery. It. He's gone. He's down onto his final stock just a minute and a half in. Miami Dome for Boomy and Snowy, this lets them set up their structured game plan that they usually have in most of the tournaments. Yeah, you can tell, like, that. Yeah, Fiend is definitely the one who chases after uh, Wes. I was thinking the same yeah, thing. Yeah. I was like, like, this is like, what happens stage, when the, oh, dog is, <laughs> the dog's definitely not chasing after <laughs> the <laughs> Fiend didn't bring any treats with him, so the dog does not care. He's You're like, I'm good, right. bro. Like, Fiend's just kind of like, oh man, what, what, what's happening over here? But no, Wes was just on stage. That urgency is not there. And that's something that I think Boomy and Snowy can really capitalize on if that's a weakness in their play oh because what we saw gosh. what we saw with Luna and Pugsy was that if one player ended up getting singled out for the way they were playing they just flipped the switch on the play style yeah. can Fiend and West do that I'm not so sure I'm thinking this is this is the straight turnaround this is the type of set we wanted to see though like yeah. I you know I didn't even see anybody getting an absolutely dumpster but I wanted to see it back and forth set so the first game goes well into the way of West second game looking like it's gonna go well uh, well into the way of Lumi, uh, Snow Snowy this time around and Snowy's got him off stage, and yeah, I, I mean, oh even if Boomy and Snowy, Snowy doing, oh. just oh, completely on top of how many stuffed recoveries? That was like four in a row. Yo. <laughs> I, you didn't he even have to go that far down. Trying, like, yeah. Yeah. He just wanted to, he did the mental damage before the next game. He's like, I want you to know I know every move you're gonna make. It doesn't matter if you're Bro. like you're gonna die, I'm gonna make sure you are gone. Wow. And Boomy was just standing there being like, Alright, you go. You get, get him snowy. <laughs> Take him down. That was that was uh, that was brutal. Oh yes. my gosh. There was even a moment in here where they had a fastball special, right? Like Snowy hits both Boomy and one of the blue team members. And Boomy just immediately recognizes, hey, I'm going to turn that around and use it just as an extension for us to get this knockout so close to the side. Man, yeah, we're definitely going to run that one. Here's, the, here's that one knockout here. on Fiend and where we're talking about, right? He's like, he's like, help, help, help. And the other guy is just uh, comboing the other <laughs> opponent. It's because, like, I know you got your satellite narrow on axe, dude, but I, my stock is gone. <laughs> that's, that's actually <laughs> a thing in doubles to think about there, which we have said time and time again, Fiend constantly aware of what Wes is doing. People drop literally everything that he is doing to make sure Wes gets back to the stage. But when the rolls are reversed, we're seeing oh! here. Okay. That, I was like, there was going to be two Trouble. different uh, stocks oh, dropped yeah. in, in, in a different way from both uh, teams. But yeah, I think that might actually be something that Bloomy and Snowy is caught up, uh, caught up on. It's like, mm. why even focus on Wes if Fiend's always going to be there when we can focus on Fiend and see if Wes will do the same thing, which Wes is not. He is not done yet. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at, look at Fiend's damage as a result. Yeah. Forcing to check if they have that flex gameplay game play within them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that interesting was a little wild, but yeah. he's <laughs> he was, I, I get it. Like when you're against Lance, that kind of covers Lance Sider and Danner perfectly with the momentum. You mm -hmm. just move right into that move, and it's just that chainsaw effect of uh, blasts above your head. But no, Boomy gets punished for it. And no stocks have gone down yet. I man, every time that I've said it, 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 it has just been an instant. Boomy goes down to that neutral light, and West gets the other KO on the other side. One more KO for West, and he'll be dominating this game because so far it's been all axe. But the Pogo's coming out from Fiend, working really well against Boomy here. Apocalypse might just be their stage. Like, yeah. I, I haven't been talking too much about stage picks, but West and Fiend look great here. So this is where they get to have that kind of, I, I don't really want to call it controlled chaos, because it is just chaos. Like, <laughs> Wes and Fiend will just go in, and they're able to control so much space. Miami Dome helped out uh, Boomy and Snowy because there was a lot more platform space. They could take time, take space to set up their game plan and their positioning. Here, you don't have that luxury. Fiend and Wes will just charge right through. Yeah, it is a pretty small stage, uh, you know, size-wise. And, you know, the walls, not the smallest, but still something you have to consider they are smaller than what you normally used to in Mammoth Fortress, but... Oh, no! Oh, no. Boomy was just trying to get back to the stage. Okay. He was definitely not like, Snowy, get out of the way like that was like he used that drift snowy ended up clinging for too long but that friendly fire was brutal but he makes it back down air hits oh what's snowy doing he just chased dodges to reposition behind boomy and get that neutral game started up here oh but west that's the dominating moment right now okay he went down before but he's still been all stocks to west's x so far in this game three i mean uh, that's good you know west west definitely had to pick it up kind of from that last game oh wait okay oh, just oh, immediately runs out there and dubs him <laughs> go ahead and get out of here now a good lead here developing for the blue team one more time. I mean, look, we've talked about the success story and they are keeping that all the way up. It's interesting. I feel like the adaptation hasn't been West go and save Fiend. It's been more of Fiend just going to be like, okay, I'm just going to try to survive better, right? <laughs> and then West has just been going uh, in a complete monster mode going into this game three where he has just been taking every single stock and Fiend sets up a few. But Wes has just been going crazy. Yeah, Wes can. Uh, that's 
They, it's kind of like a coin flip with Wes, you know what I mean? Like, is, yeah. is he going to go absolutely insane and land all of these, like, crazy, like, 50 50 esque reads that he's going for? <laughs> or are they going to go in the other way and he ends up getting, like, bodied and losing his stock relatively early? Unfortunately, that actually happens to Fiend this time, going for that ground pound. No one home, but he ends up taking one himself after uh, going past his opponent. So. I mean, you know what they say, 60% of the time it works 100% of the time. <laughs> True. It, True. And this is, the, this is the, exactly the kind of set they were looking for, TK, where, mm -hmm. like, game one, four stocks in one team's favor. Game two, four stocks in the other. And now we're in game three, everyone's last stock orange, and the first player that goes down, I'm not even so sure if the 1v2 is is a sure thing between these two teams, right? Like, if Wes is the one stuck in the 1v2, oh man, oh, Booby goes for the, the save of the weapon throw! Oh, the Snyder hits! That's, is that it? That oh, was Wes. such a good weapon toss. Like, he was going there for the save, and Boomy actually, you know, started the scoop up, but the weapon toss slapping him out of it, oh. thus pushing him way too far away. Boomy not able to get out there and make it happen again, and then, because he was so far away, loses his stock as well. Man. That was clean. That was clean. TMK, <laughs> Fiend's got yeah. some of that, like, that really pinpoint timing accuracy that he uses on those saves for his teammate. Oh, yeah. We just saw him use that aggressively with that weapon throw. That what was, if you that chose was... to use your skills for evil? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 yeah, Fiend, Fiend now living up to his name is because of the oh, comment that we made gosh. in the previous sets. That was incredible. Yeah. Uh, and and, and those, are the, those are the weapon throws that you rarely ever get to see, man. Man, Wes, just so good at cleaning up the stocks. And at that end, that, that even stock scenario, right as I said something about it, we got to see that edge guard there where it was happening two different ways and the team was able to do it so well i want to see that here in this replay i think we're no we're not at it yet fiend's yeah, gotta go down yet. and Here's now we'll be one. in yeah, it yeah look at this the sniped precision oh uh, we'll have to catch oh, a little bit oh, soon, oh, soon, soon. now I was, I was actually going to wonder where they were going to go it seems yeah. as though so boomy and snowy they want more space uh, at, at all times like they yeah. want they want more places to stand they want more wall and uh, on, on the other side of things west and Fiend want to make sure you have no space and potentially no wall as well. So, you know, I, Ship, Shipwreck probably got banned. So that's why they ended up going Apocalypse. If Shipwreck doesn't get banned again, I can see them going there. And Wes and Fiend would never give a Mammoth. It's okay. just way too yeah. large of a... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so here we are in, once again, kind of an odd counterpick when it comes to 2v2s. Uh, it, it, we're in Enigma here, where the, the amount of place that you can play on changes quite a bit because of how high that platform is, mm -hmm. but we don't have that Great Hall property where it's like, you're going to survive forever off the top. You actually will just go down faster. So right. we'll, we'll see if that uh, makes a big difference here. D-Light recovery on Blasters. You catch that on that top plat, you can get a, you can get somebody at yellow if you do it right. Right, man, so this is a... Oh, oh he he that's... the surgical precision once again! Man, he... these weapon tosses, dude. He... <laughs> oh, and he got the stuff recovery. Wow. Snowy's down. Wow. It's wow. six stocks to four, and this is match point for Winner's Finals. That's what the, the qualifier for Winner's Finals here in this Winner's Semifinals match. Oh, my goodness. Boomy and Snowy are now down. Okay, they can clean things up pretty quickly, but Fiend with the Nairs on the Boomy. There's the delay recovery at the top. He's just gone. He was, he, yeah. he, I think he could really got hit off the blast zone before the recovery even finished. Like, that's how close he gets <laughs> with that move. And now Boomy's trying to take down Wes as well, but he dodges past it. I'm surprised that Snowy was not behind him, kind of expecting that. That seemed like a very easy one to, you know, expect. He's either going to eat this, uh, he's going to have to fight me or have to dodge past <gasps> me, and that should have been the easy one for, oh, oh okay, my gosh. still fighting Didn't at the top, though. Wes has another Ooh. chance at life. Ooh, that neutral stick came so close to taking him down there, and that's just the power of when, it's the difference when we see Wes recovering and Fiend recovering. Yeah. If it's Wes recovering, you're like, why is his teammate out there? Oh yeah, Fiend is literally doing <laughs> everything in his power to be like, please, don't hit the, <laughs> anyways. Ooh. <laughs> okay, almost. I actually tried to get a, a neutral air up there as well to potentially put some past uh, blast on regardless, but okay. Whoa. That neutral stick was so close. It's still looking really good for the blue team, man. Three <laughs> stocks. Three oh, stocks. The damage is so Oh, he got the weapon throw on the Boomy. He tried to bounce it off the stage. Okay. Boomy dodges past it. The D-Light oh doesn't gosh. hit, but can Boomy get the reversal? He's almost going down to unarmed recovery at the bottom, and that was a gravity cancel side recovery that connects, and Wes can't get the alley-oop, but he's still ain't down as that side air puts Boomy on the one side, and he gets the double knockout. It's five stocks to two. Wes and Fiend against Boomy and Snowy, and they are looking poised to take this 3-1. Man, I'm, I am promise you everyone's uh, predictions are in shambles. <laughs> no, I don't. And Wes and Fiend were, were not slated to make it this far, and they are going absolutely insane today. So good stuff to them. And now, I mean, the game... Still could be flipped, but Wes just now losing his first stock, man. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Fiend is the weak link. He yeah. has to play like Pugsy played that game mm -hmm. one of the last set. Like, you you get that, oh, he's already set up for his teammate, but other than that, you take as little damage as possible. Let Wes even lose this whole second stock if he has to. Do not go down. He is doing exactly that. He's pretty much staying behind Wes, or at least under Wes. They have to fight Wes first to get to Fiend. Fiend, look at that, immediately getting out of there. He's like, Fiend I don't want nothing like, to do you, with that. You just take the damage, man. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> like walked to the right side of the platform.
Yeah, this is where I. They really <gasps> just need. Snowy's oh. down. Snowy's gone. Side air, weapon throw, double Snow knockout. West and Fiend knock Boomy and Snowy into the lower elimination bracket, and here they go. It is it is a South America winners finals, undefeated. West and Fiend. What on earth? I cannot believe it. And they did a three one. Bro, Wes Wes has a he, he has the scope on man. Those weapon tosses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the scope is on. I mean the infrared's on all of it. Like the aim assist, the aim bot, like all every single one of his uh of his weapon tosses look just so